Yes. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. What up, y'all? Y'all ain't think y'all will see us again this fast, did y'all? But guess what? We back and we got something to talk about. We want to talk about this fool, Marco Samanovic. He be getting a lot of pub today. I'm at work. All oh, my phone going crazy. I don't know about you, nephew, but my phone was going nuts. Marco, 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 Marco. Marco hey, Polo. This man funny. What's it going on today going with Marco crazy. today, nephew? Man, y'all already know what it is, but y'all got to hit an intro first. We got to turn up one time, <laughs> goddamn. Cognac. Gang. Shy Boys Podcast with the Cognac Boys. I'm Cognac Boy Bobby, and I'm with my dog, c the. You already gave him who the hell we talking about. We yeah. already know NBA Summer League is right around the corner. First game is in three yeah. days, goddamn. And yeah. we heard a lot of pub about Marco Simonovic. If people don't know who he is, go ahead, give him the goddamn numbers of what Marco had. And I know it's a lot of y'all who don't know who he is because you haven't seen him play. But Marco <laughs> Simonovic. <laughs> Marco Sinanovich is a he's a, he plays for the Chicago Bulls if you didn't know. <laughs> 6 11. Uh right now he's 245 pounds. He gained 25 pounds, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um yeah, center, forward slash center, uh by way of Montenegro. So uh Marco Simonovich has been getting a lot of pub today. Uh I see KC post some things like the man then lost like 25 pounds. He gained. Uh, he gained. He lost. Oh, he gained 25 pounds. Oh, the man didn't gain. Now he 240. Oh, the man then gained like 25 pounds. Now he 240. He ready for that, for that NBA strength that's going to be coming his way in the summer league. Uh, he had an interview as well. It was a, a media availability day. So uh, he said a couple things. What you think about Marco today and all the interviews and all this fuss about this guy we ain't seen play in two years? Well, first and foremost, Marco Simonovich, uh, before he came on, there was uh, Summer League head coach John Bryant. He went out there and he gave some praise to Marco, saying that Marco looks improved. And you gave 6'11". This guy actually grew two inches as well. So there you go. That's why we got Joker asking why he looked two inches taller than Vooch in the latest pick together. That's the reason why, my guy Joker. And shout out to you. But, so you uh, mean... Go, go ahead, ahead, finish. Go ahead. What's your question? So you mean to tell me this fool gained 25 pounds and grew two inches. Who is he? Dalsim? Do you remember <laughs> Dalsim from Street Fighter? <laughs> but really, y'all, all this is fine and good. I hear the coach talking great, uh, you know, saying good things about the guy. I know his teammates are saying good things. You see Joker retweeting or whatever he doing on social media for the guy. I just want to see him play. Okay. Can, that, can, can, can that be just okay? okay? Can we all see Samanovich play in some reasonable and um, some minutes that matter? In the NBA. I know. I know he got gifts. I seen the highlights in Euro League. I seen the highlights in the G League. But it's something missing. It's not the National Basketball Association. I told That's you. what I want to see. <laughs> he was in the Fundamental League, man. Some of the things that the coach pointed out from John Bryant, he said that he's really showing his abilities. He got better with his hands. He got better with uh, taking contact and he finishing through that contact. Mm -hmm. And he even pointed out that he worked during the practice. He worked with Ayo majority on the majority of the time. And him and Ayo was going crazy on pick and roll. What do you hear? What, what you got to say about that? Oh, I'm excited about that. I know Ayo will make uh, any big look good out there in the pick and roll because, you know, Ayo got that gift. He got that eye and he got that gift for playmaking. Yes, sir. Uh, 
I really want to know about that three-point shooting. What do you think about his three-point shooting? I've seen some highlights. He was knocking a couple down, but it's all watered down. It's all highlights. It's all make you – it all make to make you look good. Is this guy a shooter that they say? Do you think he's going to be a shooter that everybody's touting in the Bulls organization? Well, first and foremost, he went out there. He said that Vooch is his mentor and his big brother. Big so guy. if he can shoot up there with Vooch, I think he'll be, you know, acceptably good. And I think that he'll be, you know what I'm saying? I think he'll be okay. But as you mentioned before, he has to do it against other NBA teams. I don't want to get too hyped. I don't want to get too low. I'm going to stay right here with it. You feel me? Even kill. You going <laughs> to yeah. stay even kill? Yeah, because, you know what I'm saying, we talked a lot of stuff offline, and you gave him some, some crap. I gave him like, man, let's just be patient. You know what I'm saying? The G League is a – you got to think about it. The G League is a part of the NBA. It's not the same as the NBA, but it's more of a, a development league in my opinion. You got to get a guy a shot. Okay. Now let's talk about the pressure on this kid because there is pressure. Do you agree? There's pressure, a lot of pressure. Okay. Let's talk about the pressure on this kid to perform in the summer league. What are some of the expectations you have for this kid? Because here's my expectations. I expect 20 and 10 every game from this kid. Every game. You didn't have summer league last year. You didn't have uh, preseason games last year. You didn't have um, Io is helping you out with the pick and roll. Vooch. Is, is helping out, you out. He didn't he adopted you. You his big little brother now. <laughs> you got the, the coach, Coach Bryant, saying you you on your way to be the greatest, but it's one thing missing. We ain't seen it. <laughs> so, what is your expectations for Samanovich? My some my expectations, you want to see improvement. You want to see what the guy can actually bring to the table. I told you my the the way the way my thinking is the reason the Chicago Bulls didn't draft the big man when there was some big man available is because they were banking on who they had in, in the G League. And this is the guy. Hence why the pressure is that the volume is turned up, the heat and the temperature is turned up. You we not baking, we not slow cooking this no more. We baking that like uh, every black person temperature on a oven 350 everything go 350 <laughs> everything goes 350 in the black household guy. i just so can't believe this guy up, right you 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 gotta see what's out there bro, what, what happened to you that, today bro well who buttered you up today i'm not who buttered you up today why are you taking easy on on, on uh, marco samanovich why are you I'm taking, not it taking it easy when i just told you that the guy got pressure but you still got a way to see because it ain't going to the, – the the improvement that you want to see, in my opinion, is not coming in summer league. I want to see him line up against some of the other bigs that's going to be coming off these benches on these other teams in the NBA. Ah, oh, come on, big dog. So if this guy goes into the summer league and lays a big, fat-ass dino egg, 10 points, five rebounds per game, and he plays most of the games in summer league – what do you have to say about Marco Samanovich? It's summer league. So what if Dalen Terry come out and drop 20 every game and then he a dud in the in during the regular season? Dalen Terry's not a scorer. Dalen Terry is a playmaker, do it everything type player. Don't okay, so, I can't so believe you're defending this out. guy. So what if he come in and he he got more turnovers than assists? That's a problem. Exactly. See, everybody's judged so, differently. Everybody so, dub Ghibli. I need you know him to get in this game and dominate. I don't want to, I don't really, summer league, I want to see improvement. I want to see what this kid is made of. We don't have enough film. So Dominated I, summer league yeah. will be improvement. No. P. Will, <laughs> no. <laughs> P. Will, P. Patrick Williams was summer league MVP. Yeah. Did he take did he take that step that we expected him to take? He no. Definitely. We simply, we are banking on this year. Hey. Pat Williams definitely took some steps, big dog. Not the step that we wanted him to take. Yeah, well, he was injured. Well, I get you. He was injured, dog. Let's, you know let's give saying? him that. He I was give injured. him that, but it's the same thing, my boy. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I want to thank the 20 people up in uh, that came to check us out in the live. Make sure y'all like the uh, live, subscribe, comment, too, because we're going to get to y'all. We get, you know we got to get to the game. Okay, I got a question for you, too, though. Hit me up. So, John Bryant... Head coach of the summer league, he said the red team was going crazy. 
I don't know who on the red team or if there's a blue team. They playing Blood versus Crip. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I do know that the red team Warrior Award winners were Parian Calendrette, Justin Wright Foreman, and Ethan Thompson. <laughs> How surprised are you by that? <laughs> who is that? <laughs> See, nobody know who those people, who those people <laughs> is. Nobody care about that. Mm-hmm. All we care about this summer league, the people. They own the summer league team. I don't care about them. <laughs> yeah, they just there to fill, you know, just fill a roster spot. We want to see Justin Lewis, Daylon Terry. We want to see that kid from DePaul. We want to see the most attention is going to be on Marco Samanovich. Agreed. The I most can't attention. Argue that. You I know. Can't argue that. Because man, look, man. But I, I'm, got- I'm 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 hoping for the best, man. Because <laughs> because I still think that we need a big man, a front uh front court player. We still need one more. But if this guy's turn out like Bobby says, you know, uh, uh we got something in the bag. Okay. Because Bobby, Bobby put Bobby like this dude. You like this guy? I do like it. But I what do you think he brings just- to the NBA to the Chicago Bulls if I he mean, makes I, the I team? Be- with all the things that they saying, he can go inside, outside a little bit. I mean, I think he'll be another versatile big that can come off the bench. I don't know. My question will be on the defense. Your big brother, uh, he got some big ass feet. He can't move. You <laughs> mean? <laughs> so I want to see if little brother can move his feet. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I got to throw you something that stood out to me. I think that's it's good building blocks for these young guys. And Don't that's good. So. so Coach John Bryant. Before we start getting into these comments, Coach John Bryant said that the way that they doing stuff is just it's more than basketball. He's going to them as a mentor, as like, uh, you know, trying to teach them something. Basically, you know, after every practice, he giving everybody pointers on what to work on. And then word on the street is Daylon Terry. He working out two or three times a day. Yeah, I heard that. I heard he got kicked out the gym. (laughs) <laughs> I love I love to hear that. I mean, he a basketball rat. Let me tell y'all something, Joe. I ain't compare myself to no NBA player, but I used to hoop 24-7 when I was a young guy. I'm talking about get up at, at 10 o'clock in the morning, go hoop <laughs> all the way to 12 o'clock at night. Don't you shake your head. You know I got these good. But that's good to hear about uh, Dale and Terry, bro. Because cause I'm, I'm not really worried about him. I know what he can do. He's going to be a playmaking, uh, do everything type player. I call him a five, two player. He can play defense. He can shoot it. He can, he can steal the ball and y'all just name another two tools. That's too much for me, but <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited to see, to see I'm some other fish. That's all got I got. Three to days. Say. We got, we three, got days. three days, a couple more we days got... and we get to see him. Well, we could jump right in. We got Rick. Hey, what up, My boy, boy Rick. Hey, he said he don't want to see Samanovich cook in the summer league because then the expectation is going to be high and it's going to be a dud. I just told you this. I just told when, you. When is he going to play, though, Rick? He gonna when play is we going to see league? him play? You just going <laughs> to pop him out there in the NBA in the regular season? He about to play right now. Eight, three days. He going to play. You're going to be able to evaluate him. We're going to be here right after the game. You know what I'm saying? No, no Rick. And then, that's my man. Shout out to Rick. Hey, Joker, we I, I I ain't see the game, but I'm gonna look oh. at them stats. But 25 and nine, hey, he a yeah. big ass uh small forward, a point forward. Shit, you ask me, point. Jovich forward. went crazy today, y'all. 25 and nine, hey, that boy gonna be yeah. a problem. And my nephew said he should play point guard. He should That's play crazy. point guard for the Miami Heat. That's gonna be nice. Uh, what up, my guy? You was on with us last time. Shout out to you, Jacob Pone of Don. He told me, Let's talk bulls. You damn right. Yes, sir. Ski said, Let's talk bulls, shorty. <laughs> 60. What up, my guy? You what was up? with us too last time. What up? For real. You know what I'm saying? Ricky said, The only person I want to see touch the ball is Marco, Dale, and the Justin. The rest don't even matter. Hey, I see you right there. On I the see you. That's kind of where it lined up right there. <laughs> Great minds think alike, my man Ricky. Hey! <laughs> See, Doug, go ahead and take what MC sees and say. He say Marco about the ball out. Hey, you did that on purpose. MC, <laughs> I hope, I'm praying that he going to ball out. We need to see something, bro. We really need to see something. Hey, CJ the Truth. CJ Truth said, don't sleep on McCoy Maker. That's Don Maker, little brother, I believe. Uh-huh. He, he said he, he heard he finally gets it now. 
Well, hopefully, okay. he, hopefully yeah. he get it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hopefully he got a tough. He, he got a yeah. He got a tough tree to climb, man. He got a tough tree to climb because they. I don't think the Bulls is really focused <laughs> on him. They put him on a team to like. You got to try. You got a small chance to you to do something. So he better make the most of it. He better might be at he might be at Windy City Windy City Bulls. Marco yeah. better not be back at Windy City Bulls. I'm Marco be that. back on there being MVP of the G League. That's what he do. <laughs> you funny. Uh, yeah, they Joker. They was trash talking. He said Pat Will was responding to Dalen. Uh, Pat Will started the trash. I heard Dalen Terry started the trash talk. Actually, and me personally, I like it. You go I in, like yeah. It. I'm the young pup. I'm here. I know you've been here for a little minute, but we here to talk that smack. Let's get it. Oh, it's that's me all. Up. You. That's the hey, only way I like it. Hey, they, hey, Ricky just called you. Oh, my boy, he said you out here telling war stories. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ricky. <laughs> boy, I take you on that court, boy. You better stop, Ricky, <laughs> boy. I had his old head do something to you on that basketball court, boy. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Hey, tell you, hey, I love to see it. We already trying to wait and see what uh Pat the designer and Hayes do. We still waiting on the one on one. Oh God, I need some footage still of that. Waiting on the one on one immediately. So, so Ricky, go ahead and record that, my boy. Go ahead and jay that down. <laughs> For real. But do do you think like like B one hundred though? Do you think this guy is really gonna be able to show what he's made of in summer league? Talking about Marco. Yes. Why wouldn't he? It's basketball. Show us what you can do. We don't know what you can do. Show me how you play basketball. That's all I want to see. For sure. I mean, hey, me, I don't think it'll make it or break him. That's just I do. I mean, well, if he's terrible, obviously, he going back to the Windy City Bulls. You're going to be right there in the suburbs. You're not going to be on (laughs) Madison. (laughs) But I think if he's average, I don't think that'll kill him. You know what I'm saying? But in my opinion, I... I got high expectations. My boy, he need to come on. The pressure is on. The pressure is on. He got he got to go crazy, bro. He got to. And we got our boy, Big Bro, a.k.a. Kev in his jump. That's what my up, man, guy? Big Kev. What up, big dude? Chopping happy, up Chicago, boy. B-day. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. Get in tune with my man. Hey, he said, do you think the Bulls still need a legit seven-footer because Vooch, like 6'10"? Well, um, I, I think that's I think that ship has sailed. <laughs> that's just my personal opinion. They didn't get Hardenstein's. They definitely they couldn't get in uh, Mitchell Robinson. And you see what we got? We got Andre Drummond. And I think that's another big body who can go in. I don't. I, he's not the sexy name you wanted. You know what I'm saying? He's not somebody that's gonna go in and give you a ton of threes or at least three or four threes a game. But I know one thing that's gonna happen. Uh, second point chances will increase. Offensive rebounding, defensive rebounding will increase, and that will be some help, you know, when people think they just finna have a uh, soul train line to the basket, goddamn. So if uh, we play Luca again and he want to go to pick and roll, pick and roll, pick and roll song, hey, Vooch, get up out of there. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. Drummond might get killed on a step back three, but ain't no driving to the cup. At yeah, least it'll sure. be a little bit harder. You know I do personally think we do need another big, uh, maybe a seven foot or 16, whatever you want to call it. But it's just based on how good is Samanovic. How is he going to help this team? That's what I'm basing it upon. If he's trash, we need us another, another big man. Cause he, he could your, be trash. For sure. He go your first one of the day. I think Marco will replace Tony. <laughs> That's your first one of the day. MC. MC season, bro. <laughs> you know the rules, bro. We don't bring the B word up. I'm just tripping, but anybody could replace uh Tony Bradley. You know, people like the the little kids that come and wipe the floor down, the the little kids that hand the players the Gatorade. You know, people like that. <laughs> you know, funny. I bet neither one. He said, I bet neither one of them said draws. I'm confused. I, I should have, yeah. I lost that one, my guy. Uh, <laughs> J.D. Capone said them uh, Io, Lonzo, and Drummond Live's going to go crazy. I believe yes. so. I believe so because I think the Bulls going to have some I – think, I think people going to come in and underestimate him again. <laughs> yeah. That's just how I feel about it. Now the Bulls definitely need to uh, come out with some more toughness than they did last year. They yes. came out great. But once things get hard, toughness overrules a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And this – man, Milwaukee got better. Boston got better. 
You feel oh. me? So we gotta be on the we gotta be on the lookout. We gotta be ready to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this east, yeah, this definitely going to be the beast of the east. We got to <laughs> see what we fit in up in here. Fact. For sure, for sure. For Dada to bring an animal out of pet and get him to talk me, he's a great a shit starter. We need that get. Yes, sir. Hey, definitely. Put that young boy in there and get him to start up something. Somebody going to call him a rook. <laughs> hey, I agree with that. Like, I, I, the number one quality of Dale and Terry that I absolutely love is his attitude. He's not backing up from nobody. He only here for his teammates. I love his personality for this team because we need players like that. We need more players. DeMar DeRosa, he ain't going to give you that rah-rah, talking shit type stuff. Tristan Thompson, what is that? And Ayo, and Ayo showed you. <laughs> like, who is this like, talking to, bro? For real. Who is, who is bro? Um, bro, you are, <laughs> <laughs> for real. But I think Dalen Terry, man, the, every team need that dog, man. Even if they're not the best bro. player on the team, man. Because if you think about some of the starters that's on this team, most of them laid back guys. Damn, yeah. they're all of them. Lo- all of them. Guys. Damn, Lonzo, all. Zach, Demar, Vooch, and Pat Will. And, and and I think and I think uh what's uh my man Javante Green he got that look of a pit bull but I don't think he you know what I'm saying <laughs> he got the look of a pit bull but I don't think he a pit bull on the court he a beast and you know he be dunking it you know playing deep but I don't think he got he not no Drayvon uh Draymond Green type attitude absolutely type shit. my boy Joker said Drama got that wide body on bro what my people in the south say that's a donk. You know what I'm saying? Pop, don't. Hold on, no. Hold on, be cool. <laughs> Pause, no. Hey, hey, he do oh. got a wide body, though. Let's go. He, he going to show you how he get those rebounds out there on the court. He going to show you. He going to gobble them up. He going to gobble. Crazy boy plays. Hey, you was rocking with us last time, too. Shout out oh, to you, God. my boy. He said, what do you mean, Marco being praised? I think I'm stupid because I don't really know the definition of praise. So they was comp. They was giving Marco good compliments about himself in today's practice in the NBA Summer League. Uh, Coach John Bryant was basically saying he liked how Marco has improved certain aspects of his game. Yeah. Yeah, so crazy that, boy. That yeah, really you trying mean. to be sarcastic, my guy? Yeah, man, he coming at Marco. He on your side. <laughs> For real. Oh, For real. Man, look, Joker said Nets really got TJ on the minimum. Bulls could have paid that price for him. I believe they could have as well. But I, I think, man, I just think that these guys really, I believe our front office is just real content on being patient with a lot of the stuff. I don't think it's the end of the world, but you know what I'm saying? Now the now the Nets got to deal with Jimmy Butler antagonizing them. <laughs> oh man! Hey, but T.J. Warren would have been a decent piece to the Chicago Bulls. He would have so. been nice. I think they missed missed on the opportunity there. They missed on a couple people, but you just gotta yeah. rock, go with the go with the flow and see what happens. You feel me? Yeah, pull up that Kevin Hodge, my man Kev on there. My boy said Bill Cartwright is currently better than Phony Bradley. Badly. Yeah, he said currently. <laughs> what how old is Bill Cartwright? 78. <laughs> and, he, and you know what's the funny thing? He might be right. You might be right, big bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you. For real. We we needed some attitude on this team. Demar too old to be getting into it with others. For real, man. For real. Yeah. Y'all seen my boy drop 39 on Drew Lee, though. Dr- this is Drew Lee, though. Yeah, I know. I get it. It's Drew Lee, yeah, but Drew he was Lee. still out there. <laughs> Doing Spin the around. same moves, turn around, <laughs> uh, fall away jumpers, and he got him a little two hand slam in there. I seen Ooh. you tomorrow. Oh, Ricky say Daylin gonna be our Joe King Noah, but at small four. If that I agree happens, with that, boy, I agree much, with that. Imagine how much energy, bro. Remember when first of all, Joe King Noah used to come out. Why do we want to go to Cleef? Anybody want to go bro. to Cleveland? But on not just at the press conference, but on the court, he used to. Come on, come on, bro. Come on. Like, oh, drive and see what happens type shit. You mean? Hey, the most beautiful thing that all Chicagoans love about Joaquin Noah, he was on LeBron's head every <laughs> game, treating him like the person he is. And I ain't going to get into that, yo. We're going to the next one. <laughs> he said Justin Lewis definitely got that dog in him. I see it, I too, so, man. I think so, too. I can't I wait to too. see it, too. I can't wait. I hope he does. I can't wait to see. Joker says, if Nets call and want DeMar, Kobe, Vooch, and that Portland pick for KD, 
Oh yeah, you easily do it. Oh yeah. You oh yeah. What you say, nephew? Answer that again. You do it. Okay. Yeah, we doing that. Ain't no doubts about it. Bah. You pull it. You pull a trigger. Why? Because he called. He he gonna give you the mid range, and he add an aspect that Demar really don't have, which is the three point shot. You add the you best player, and, and, and you can't discount the length that this guy brings. You know what I'm saying? He adding the best player in the game, baby. Jay Capone and Don said, "If healthy, we could be top four. That's why I got us set right now, bro. Top four. Uh, I got uh Boston, Milwaukee, and the Sixers ahead of us." And then you still got to count Miami as well. So you look out for those teams, and the Bulls should be – we should be all right, man. We just need to be healthy, real talk. Yeah, it's going to be I, – I say we get get that top five. We be in the top five. I want to thank all the 30 viewers that's in the, that's in the live. Y'all go ahead, comment, get, get a uh, live, a like, and make sure y'all subscribe, man, for y'all can get out with the game. What for we real. got next, nephew? Hold on. My boy Kev said he ain't mad at the mid range king, but oh, we got bro. king of the fourth. Huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my boy Ricky said, Remember when uh Noah that he was arguing, Noah came in a huddle clapping? Yeah, oh, and tagging oh. ass these people. Noah was with everything, he wanted all the well, smoke. Nobody want to mess with my boy. It was definitely one of those. You, feel you know who it was? It was the heat. Any team LeBron was on in the Boston Celtics, he was on Nate ass, boy, every <laughs> opportunity. Oh, the real. MC Caesar said Justin Lewis is well, one player he's most excited about. He hopes he balls out and earn minutes. Me too, bro. Me and you um, both, big dog. I'm I'm big right now. My my ideas have shifted towards wing defenders and players. Plus, these guys, these these boys got bunnies. So I need to I need to see a couple bodies, you know what you I'm saying? See this some season. You feel me? A couple yeah. bodies. Hey, my boy Byron coming for you, boy. He said KD ain't the best in the game. Stop playing. Oh, then chat. Put who you think is the best in the game, and I'll tell you why he is not better than KD. <laughs> Simple as that. Somebody said Vooch P MCC said. Uh, Vooch, P. Will, Kobe, Io, three first round picks. First of all, Io can't go nowhere. No, I ain't going. I ain't doing that. <laughs> Io got to stay here, baby. I need my boy to be a bull. You feel me? Yes, yes, sir. Need to be right. at the crib. We already trying to fight for somebody else to come back from the, oh, to the bro. crib. Goddamn. We need Io in that red and black. Boy, I hear you, but no, not Io. Yeah, bro. Joker said that Noah learned a lot from KG that first year. Definitely, Definitely. did. Absolutely. Definitely. What do y'all think about the dragon? Do y'all think Lonzo will be better? I hope Lonzo will be better. His daddy was talking all that. He gonna work out with me. He gonna be fine. So, you know, uh, hopefully. Let me take that <laughs> elephant out of the room. I'm sure everybody's seen the the little clip that Lonzo released today with him shooting the little jumpers, the little bank shots from the corner. I want y'all to pay attention to us to something. He was shooting them joints from one leg and slamming that other leg. I don't know <laughs> which leg is injured. But he looks pretty okay with me with a little subtle, you know, he was doing some stuff that was subtle, but he looked okay to me. So I, I don't hear all this worry about Lonzo. I don't see it. I told if somebody my boy, show me something, then I'll start worrying. I told my boy the reason why Dalen Terry was drafted is security for Lonzo Ball. Plus, you got Ayo Dosumo. Look, me personally, as a businessman myself, I look to I, I live in the present, but 75% of the time, I'm thinking about my future. And what do we know now? We know that Lonzo Ball has had several injuries to that knee. We know that Lonzo Ball was supposed to come back in March, but didn't even come back. Then they pushed it to the playoffs, and he ain't even come back. Me, you got to secure that back end up. You know what I'm saying? Secure that back end up, and you see what happens. You feel me? Byron, Byron, that's a, here's a response for you. You said he got – hold on, wait, wrong comment. He said the Greek freak – and old Brian still better because of their leadership. <laughs> nah. Greek freak, Greek freak has no go-to moves. All he do is just bulldoze his way to the basket, make him shoot. He turns pedestrian. LeBron is old. He's out of the question. He's out of the conversation. I keep telling C Dub. I league. keep telling C Dub. He he get he get on Giannis for going to the basket so heavily. I tell him. Tell them other motherfuckers to stop them. <laughs> and they can't stop them. 
<laughs> he can't stop him. So you good. You feel me? My boy, my boy original one said he want to see Io at the crib. Hey, y'all yeah. need to be treating uh C dub right now. He does he does not have the porno music going on in the back. <laughs> <laughs> uh somebody asks joker asks is D detroit no it's detroit bro no we don't like detroit lions we don't like detroit pisses they will not be in the playoffs not hey, this year. I, I, i'm gonna disagree with my nephew brody detroit got got some young watch them watch out for play in and like seven ac they got some young talent over there in detroit i cannot ignore I, just, I don't like Detroit, but you got to keep it 100. They got some talent over there now, some young talent. Definitely. For real. I mean, I get the talent thing. I just don't see, you know, uh, next year. Not not this year. They got one more year of growth. Okay. No, not this year. One more year of growth because they got they, they picked up some nice pieces. And uh, who the fuck is they coach? What's Buddy name? He used to coach Toronto. Damn, I forgot. But it's Black Buddy that used to coach uh, Toronto. Yeah, that's their coach. I forgot his name. Who I almost said Avery, Avery Johnson, but that ain't the no, coach. Ain't. <laughs> we already know who Avery Johnson. He talk like this. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> oh, bro. Uh, Lord Zoe Bay said, do we think Dalen Terry will back up the Paul? I, would, I mean, I would love to see it, but he going to have to battle. Uh, He going to have to battle Javante Green and them for that. But. <laughs> I think Dalen Terry is so versatile that he'll be able to back up one through, let's just say four. Just he'll be able to come and get plugged in in any spot one through four if you need him. Billy Donovan really got him a a, a decent piece to use in the regular season this year coming up. Dwayne Casey, that's that guy name, yep. bro. The, the, the Detroit Pistons <laughs> yeah. head coaches, the Wayne Casey, couldn't think of, couldn't think of it. But the Joker said Billy Donovan is too nice of a coach. We almost had the Boston coach, and he had that no nonsense attitude. Facts. That's what these players need, man. Don't yeah, like there were times to where I was like frustrated because Zach sitting there while the whole play going on at the other end, he back there bitching at the other end. Bro, get your behind down there and let's play this game, bro. And then there were several times to when I was just like, bro, this is supposed to be a Zach Levine game. What are we doing? He'll he go crazy first and second quarter. And it's like he went to the shower, put on new clothes, and left the arena in the second half. So, yeah. like, man, you got to – he got to earn that $215 million this year, bro. For real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is to something to say if you having a coach with that has discipline qualities in their coaching style. Uh but I want to see Billy Donovan. He just he's just not that not he's not that type of coach. Uh, so he's just he does himself and he's just going to continue. He's not going to turn into Tom Thibodeau overnight. So we got to deal with what we got. Hey, Joker asks, whatever happened to Lou Will? I don't know. He probably still at the strip club getting them lip and pepper wings, bro. Hey, that Mar <laughs> <laughs> I see them on a couple pot. He on the team. He what he on? Atlanta Hawks. I think he played for the Atlanta Hawks. Yeah, he might still be over there. Hey, Ricky Fontaine got a good point. He said Udoka let Tater cry to the refs too. Hard stopping light skinned people from whining. Ah! <laughs> I know. <laughs> 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 hey, those, are facts, though. <laughs> those are facts though man i mean real talk those are facts though man it, it really is facts so it is what it is at this point but man hey we ain't want to hold y'all too long man um we just came on to give y'all basically an update on the news that came out for summer league and marco was the highlight on this uh on today's practice if anything comes to mind we'll be sure to fill y'all in while y'all doing y'all thing, make sure y'all hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And all I continue to support us. Thank y'all very much. C-Dub, give the final thoughts, my boy. Hey, for sure, though. But, man, we need some moderators. I'm thinking like Ricky Fontaine and Joker. You make them some moderators or something like that. I appreciate everybody for coming through. Look at the people coming in. It's 38. We ready to get off. Uh, <laughs> we appreciate all the support. We just continuing to grow. We love, we we love doing this, bro. We've been doing this for so long. We just love talking about basketball and the sports in general. Arguments, agreements, whatever. Uh, and I'm glad you guys digging us. We appreciate y'all, bro.
Hey, Byron said, keep the channel going. We will, my boy. Hey, Thank hey, you so much for bro. your support. And then we got Ichigo. I'm sorry if I messed up your name. He says, hi, what's up, my guy? What up, my guy? Make oh, sure y'all yeah. like, subscribe, and comment, man. Uh, we'll get y'all next time. Comment when the video drop. We'll still answer y'all <laughs> comments. Um, real, you know though. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And then my final thoughts would be, hey, it's a lot of pressure on Marco Simonovic. Um, we definitely going to see what this young kid can do in three days. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Hey, Joker said we should collab with Ricky Fontaine. Hey, most definitely. Most we definitely. Did. Oh, we, we didn't collab with Hayes before, too. We definitely going to have some more in the future. That's our family right there. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shout out to Byron for sending us a dollar. Appreciate hey, you, my boy. boy. Hey, I boy. You, my boy. Thank hey, you boy. very much. For real. Appreciate now, the love, big dog. Hey, pull y'all up a drink. Kick y'all feet up. We got a short work week for my people that work Monday through Friday. It's oh, God. <laughs> CJ the truth, man. Appreciate you too, big dog. For real, dog. Hey, y'all gotta listen to the outro on the way out, though. He's ass. Now y'all rock. Cognac. Cognac.